Hi, my name is Miriam, I'm 23 years old and I'm a Master's in Management student here at ESMT Berlin. I'm also a board member at the BUND. The BUND, called the Bund für Umwelt und Naturschutz Deutschland, is one of the largest NGOs uh, for the protection of the environment and nature in Germany. We have over 600,000 supporters. This week I want to show you what my life as a student, business student and an, a climate activist, what it looks like. Today is Tuesday, it's about 1pm. I'm just coming from um, the meeting, my first meeting with my supervisor for my master thesis. I'm go going to write on um, the impact of corporate activities on the loss of biodiversity. That's a way for me to combine my business knowledge um, with my background in environmental studies. Now I will have to write a press statement for Saturday for our large protest with 50,000 um, protesters and my speech on, uh, on the stage of that protest because on Saturday at I think about 2 p.m. I'm going to speak the first time in my life in front of a huge mass. And then I will have to call our um, expert on agriculture from the BUND um, and talk about social economic aspects of the reform of the EU policies on agriculture. So today is really all about getting into or getting more knowledge on agricultural policies of the EU. Hi there, it's Wednesday. I've had lectures in um, alternative investments. We talked about private equity today. That was from 9 to 1. From 2 to 5, I had a lecture on data science. Um, that was very interesting as well. And now I am on about to go on a panel discussion. We're talking about the European policies in agriculture. Um, I just have to finish my networking and then I'm up on the panel. It's Friday. I did not make a video uh, yesterday um, because we got a last minute huge assignment um, for alternative investments. We had to calculate um, a, the performance of a hedge fund that took all evening and all morning. Um, so I had to cancel all my plans. I meant to go to the opening of the Green Week, but that was cancelled. So no video yesterday. Um, today I'm also focusing on uni and uh, from this evening on I'll be doing all my voluntary stuff. Oftentimes I'm asked whether um, my voluntary environmental um, work is kind of in opposition with me studying business and whether the, these two worlds are conflicting worlds. Um, and I have to say that, I, that it's a pity that people believe or think or perceive that, they are, that these two worlds clash. I have to say that um, environmental activists often point fingers at business and the other way around. Um, I also believe that business all, often does not listen to what environmental activists really have to say. I believe that it's time for business to take more responsibility in society. And on the other hand, for environmental specialists, experts, activists, whatever, to give concrete suggestions to business on how they can change business operations. It's Saturday night and it's been an incredibly, incredibly long day. It started off by our little protest action for my association. Um, we had a camera team, a retail camera team there. That was super exciting. Um, I was a press person. Then we had um, our little marketing video for the entire action. Um, and I was also the person to be to have a one-on-one -on -one shot. One -on -one shot. That was also very exhausting. And then we had the entire protest and I had my speech in front of 20 to 30,000 people, my first speech in front of such a large audience. Um, we're now in a school where 300 members of my NGO, of the VU and the youth, are here, 300 young people talking about agriculture, talking about policies, talking about how we want to shape the world. Um, that was super exciting. We're also having a member of the parliament in the background, which we interviewed, which I interviewed on stage. Um, so that was really, really nice. Um, now it's 10 p.m. I'm extremely tired and um, looking forward to tomorrow.